Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. In last week's video, we actually shown everybody how do we use these DAS systems. And for this week's video, I'll be showing you on the efficiency of how to see it remove some of the waste that we intentionally put it inside the tank and see how well we can remove it. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to our channel, we actually produce weekly content on shrimp farming and mud crab farming using RAS systems or Bioflock systems. So if you like our content, do remember to like and subscribe and you'll get a weekly notification on our latest video. So back to today's topic on the efficiency of this dissolved air flotation. So as you can see over here, after we have added in some of the dirt, so the dirt we are actually using is actually sand and some particles that is easily found in any ponds and it actually pollutes up the water once it's added. And if we start to run the system, we can see by the flow rate sensor that we're actually running about 2 cubic meter per hour. So this is not a very big unit given the fact that the DF is actually very small as compared to commercial units. So as you can see here, this small flow meter that you can mount on any pipe can give you various readings, for example, temperature and can give you the flow rate in different unit. So this is actually quite important is because the DAF unit is actually quite sensitive to the water level and its ability to remove a lot of waste depending on how much water is actually being flown into the system. So you actually need a bit of flow control to ensure that it is running at optimal phase. And this is the first compartment of the DAF. You can see that we have some of the float solids that are floating on top. And once it's actually being introduced in a tank where aeration or air is actually pumped in, you can see that some of the solid will tend to move up to the top, which is actually being removed by a scraper. So, which is what you have already seen in the last week's video. So, what I have actually did not show you in the last week's video is actually when you reduce the water, you can actually see that there's some laminar settling plates after aeration. So, meaning to say that a lot of waste will be suspended on top, will be removed, while the clean water will go down to these plates and exit through the systems. So this is to ensure that we don't have a lot of waste that is being carried forward because some of it will either be removed by the oxygen or will be sort of settled down at the laminar settling plate and removed through another flush valve, which you will see in a bit over on the side view. Oh, over here. So what you can see here, we actually have two pipes. One pipe is where the clean water actually leaves from the DAF unit and the thicker 2-inch pipe actually goes to a waste collection bin, which is what you've seen last week but what we probably have realized is if you use too small of a bin like this it tends to sort of overflow very quickly so we needed a, a tong which can accommodate a bit more waste given the time that we are in operation so one of the key variables to, to consider when you're running this machine is to look at the amount of water that you will be generated or waste it will be generated in terms of volume and this is the how the bigger tong actually looks like so once we were running this machine over a span of about two hours, uh, we realized that removing a lot of solids like this wasn't a big problem because naturally it starts to float and it gets removed through the scraper. And this is what you see. And you know, the operation time that we looked at is about one to two hours. So initially you don't see a lot of solid that's passing through, but over time you see this black colors floating things that will actually float up due to the dissolved aeration and it's actually being removed through the scraper. We have actually run this scraper continuously which is might not be the case because it actually has some timer program to run it maybe every frequency of a two to five minutes interval depending on the setting or depending on the solid accumulation. Because by scraping too frequently you actually re remove a lot of water as well instead of solids. So this is how it looks like once we have a lot of solids that's being purged out throughout the interval of two hours. You can see that the waste collection bin is actually increasing with a lot of waste floating on top and the cloudiness of water starts to decrease as well. And this is actually the tongue where we were actually storing the water and introducing the dirt. So initially it starts off with a very dirty mixture as uh, what you see over here. And once you run it, water level will start to drop and it will start to clear over time. So this is actually a time lapse of that actually happening. Okay, 
So you can see that the water on top uh, coming back is actually a recycle line because the pump that we're using here is actually a 20 cubic meter pump, much bigger than the required expectation. Okay, and you can see that the water is actually started to clear out after a span of only a short 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so here's another time lapse view on a, on a, on the on the influent tank. Right, so this is where we actually mix up all the dirt so you can see some of it is actually still floating on top of the tank and hopefully it gets removed uh, over a period of time uh, in this experiment we actually wrote only run it for about two hours uh, we could have run it longer but we needed more time to, to look at the efficiency of this uh, process and finally we have actually also look at it on top view and you can see that the water actually start to clear up after some time so this is indicative of how well that the AF is actually being removed the dirt in the effluent tank because the amount of solid in the system is actually being reduced over time in this uh in this example we have also added some polymer coagulant to help to coagulate some of the solids which is commonly used in DAS systems not so common aquaculture systems so here's some of the results uh, after you run this DAS system. The water on the left is actually the water coming out from the DAS system and the water on the right is actually what the initial water looks like before the process started. Okay, so this is on top of the front view. You can see that actually we clear up a lot of organic solids and some of the bigger particles such as the you know the, the roots of the tree etc which is actually common in your pond setup. So guys if you like this content do remember to like and subscribe as we cover more of these technologies that will help you in your aquaculture journey whether is it you're using RAS system or biofloc system so stay tuned.